Hello everyone, my name is Mr Hodges and I'm Head of PE here at Lutterworth College. This video is all about GCSE physical education and should help to inform your GCSE options. So why should you choose this subject? Students that have a passion for sports and physical activity are keen to understand how the human body works and aids performance. So within this course we look at how the muscular system and the cardiovascular system can be trained in order to improve our ability to participate in sport. We look at improving our personal fitness through the creation of a training program. This is done through the coursework unit that students will complete in year 11. We also look at other areas like diet, psychology, lifestyle factors and deviance and how they affect our health and performance. Students that are comfortable in being assessed in practical assessments. Students are required to um, be assessed in three sports, so students must be comfortable with that. And 60% of this GCSE is assessed through examinations, so quite a heavy weighting on those exams. Because of that practical assessment, we advise that students are regularly participating in at least one sport. For example, if they are regularly participating in football matches for a football team, um, then this would put them in a good position for those practical assessments. How will you be assessed? So 60% of the grade comes from two theory papers that will be sat at the end of year 11. 30% comes from your practical assessments in the three sports, so 10% for each sport. And the final 10% comes from the personal exercise program coursework. So those theory papers in a little bit more detail. Paper one is the fitness and body systems. As the name suggests, it looks at the different areas of the human body. So the muscular, skeletal, cardiovascular and respiratory systems goes into detail about the anatomy of those and therefore how they can be developed and trained to improve sports performance. We also look at the components of fitness, principles of training and methods of training. So that paper is focused around how we can improve our body to become better at sport. Paper two health and performance looks more at the social cultural influences around sport so things like diet gamesmanship deviance uh, commercialization in sport and how each of those areas have an influence on people's perception of sport or drive to take part in physical activity in terms of the practical assessment students must uh, be assessed in three sports one of those must be a team sport and one of them must be an individual sport. And the third sport can be obviously either a team or an individual. Each of those sports is worth 10% of your overall grade and is out of 35 marks. So Here's a list of the sports that students are able to be assessed in. On the left hand side, you can see the individual sports and on the right hand side, you can see the list of team sports. So, for example, a student could participate in football. If they are regularly playing uh, for a team outside of school, they are more likely to get a better grade in their football assessment. As they are regularly participating, you would assume that they are at a higher standard. Uh, they could also then take uh, badminton, for example. If they would like to take that, they are able to come to extracurricular sessions to improve their performance in badminton. We also could then take rock climbing and we take students on a trip in year 11 to develop their rock climbing skills to form part of their practical assessment. In terms of the coursework, each student will be required to design and complete a six week personal exercise program. So students are taught the theory behind the training program and how to set it up. They then have to actually physically complete the program and evaluate their performances. This must link in with their sports performance and they have to say how the development of their fitness will improve their sports performance overall. So what's the difference between GCSE PE and NCFE health and fitness? Because we do offer two physical education courses at Lutterworth College. For GCSE PE, you're assessed on your practical performances, whereas in NCFE health and fitness, there is no pressure on your practical performance at all. There's a heavier weighting in GCSE PE on the exams, 60% versus 40% for the NCFE Health and Fitness. And you can see the NCFE uh, Health and Fitness has a much heavier weighting on the coursework, whereas there's only 10% uh, 
worth of coursework for the GCSE PE. So if you're comfortable with the practical assessments and you're happy with the heavier weighting on the exams, then the GCSE PE course will be the one for you. If you are a little bit concerned about your practical performances and would prefer to be assessed more through coursework, then maybe NCFE Health and Fitness would be the better course for you to choose. In terms of career progression from the subject, we have two post-16 courses available at Utterworth College. We have A-level physical education and we also have BTEC Sport Level 3. Those are both natural pathways for students for both of these courses to progress onto. Um, students can also go on to study in sports-based courses at university, such as sport and exercise science or sports management. Um, Careers, possible careers that students could look at in the sector include things like PE teaching, fitness instructor, leisure centre manager, uh, physiotherapist. So there's a range of different opportunities for students to go on and study um, either further in terms of their education and also careers to go into. I hope you found this video useful. If you do have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me at m.hodges at Thank you for listening.